Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and I'm a Notion enthusiast. Welcome back if you've been here before. I'm super excited for today's video. I'm going to be going over my 2025 hub for this upcoming year. I've been using Notion for several years now, gone through many of my own personal dashboards. I'm super excited to finally have a clean template that I can share with the world. And I spent a lot of time working on it, so I hope you enjoy this video. Without further ado, let's get on into this dashboard because I am I cannot wait. I cannot wait anymore. <laughs> so yeah. Welcome. This is the 2025 hub. I'm super excited. You can obviously change the cover photo and the vision board as you like to customize it. But before I get too ahead of myself talking about everything about it, let me take you through the structure of the dashboard. Off to the left, first we have our navigation which includes all of our pages that I'll get into a little bit later. We have our quick actions that make things really easy to keep up with below that. And in the center, we have our vision board, which this one is actually my personal vision board. So you can obviously <laughs> switch this out. As you can see, I'm focusing on things like nutrition, strength, hydration, notion, gratitude, things like that. And then if we scroll down, you'll see there's a quote here, like the moon, we must go through phases of emptiness to feel full again. So remember, you do not have to be whole in order to shine. I just have some cute little quotes spread out throughout the database. If you want to swap those out or throw them out completely, that's up to you, of course. But anyway, today's habit tracker, which I have not filled out, but I've only done gratitude today because my parents are visiting, so I can't get to my other habits as easily. Just as a heads up, this habit tracker view, specifically today's view, is gonna be quite redundant throughout the database so that you can see that no matter where you are in the dashboard, if you finish a habit or you wanna log a habit or be reminded of a habit, this will be there to help you out. If we scroll down, we can see that we have the goals gallery, which is pretty much just a vision board, but more focused on naming a certain goal. So for example, here we have a project update picture for PMP certification, project management, uh, starting a side business, starting half a marathon, saving money, and learning Japanese to the N5 level. Under this vision board part two, we have our current goals and current milestones. So these are the goals that are being currently worked on. So if you look at this filter, it's set by status is to do or in progress. And then let's head over to current milestones where we can see that it is filtered based off of the current month. We have a board view where it's grouped by status. So whether that's not started in progress or completed, let's move on now to the main pages of this dashboard. So first let's go into goals and milestones. We see that there's two main databases that it's based off of. And under this, there are some quick actions which will help you fill these out, especially in the beginning when you have like five goals you wanna add, you can just add, 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 click, click. And the same goes for milestones. So if you scroll down here, you'll see that it adds them there. Let's head back up and look at the different views for each of the databases. On the goals page, it's basically all of your goals just sorted by their status. And the special thing about this database and milestones is that they're linked together. So for each goal, like you might expect, there are milestones related to that goal where you can track the sub goals you have to do for each goal. So that can be kind of helpful when you're breaking things down and making them a little bit more manageable, say quarter to quarter, month to month. The current view is just the status is in progress or to do. For the goals gallery, I just set this here because it's what you see in the main dashboard. So if you wanted to edit it or anything, you could always go there or come here and edit that. Scrolling down to the milestones, this just filters by the current month, which is January, which is coming up, and it sets up all your goals that you have planned for that month, sorted by their status as it is ascending. For the all view, we have all of our goals grouped by their main goal. So you can see Learn Japanese has several steps that I wanna get through to get to the N5 level. When you're in this view, you can also edit all of the properties. So the month that you wanna get it done in, the day that you achieved it in, this will relate to a daily pages database, which is kind of a sneak peek. Whether it's completed or not, you can edit all of that in here. Let's move on to the next page. Like I mentioned, you got a sneak peek of the daily pages. So why don't we get on into that. So this database is basically a journal where you can log your mood, your sleep, give a photo of the day, and name any milestones that you hit that day. So let me open a new one up. As you can see here, there's quick actions where new daily entry is an option. So if I click this, yay. Okay, so we get a new page and I can just call this today, which I really like to do just to keep it consistent. Oh, hi, Misty. Oh, bye, Misty. All right, she's done hanging out visiting my mood you know grateful love you can set select multiple of these happiness photo of the day i'm not going to put yet sleep i think i got like eight hours milestone hit none 
So yeah, let me just open this up. We can see that there's a good morning and a good night section. So in good morning, we have three things I'm grateful for, two intentions you wanna set. You can always add or take away. There's a good night section where you say, what made my day great? If you have this journal, by the way, the five minute journal, you'll notice I took heavily the inspiration from those prompts. Today I learned and realized learnings, reflections, all good stuff to keep you grounded. Then, like I mentioned, the habits of today will be linked here. And you can also see this week's habits. So that can be kind of nice. Great, so if we head back, we can see that there's also a gallery view of this. That just means you get a big summary of your daily entries. So you can see that all of the properties are shown and this way you can look back on days, memories, and have a good time doing that. Um, but for now, Let's move on to the habits page. So let me get into that. So this is the habits page and you'll see that to the left we have, again, today's habits just to make sure you can access it all the time, every time. We can also see that there's a block underneath which says my ideal self is someone who dot dot dot. So I thought this would be helpful so that you can remind yourself of where your ideal projection of your person is and show up as that person every day through your habits. Um, then to the right, this main section we have this week which is just filtered by um, the start date is relative to this week and the date is descending. So you'll see the most recent date first. And then at the bottom here, we'll see all properties. This is probably where I would go to edit my habits and it'll be sorted by the date is descending. Today is going to be our most recent day, which is gonna be at the top. Let's head back. I'm really proud of this page because I've used it as part of my second brain template that I had a long time ago. So you can replace these. You can click here to delete all of them and then replace them with your own resources. They kind of have two categories. So the first category is the topic category. And then the second one is the type category. So I don't call it category just to not be confusing, but it's the type of article, YouTube video, resource that it is. So by type makes a board view, a Kanban board view of the types of resources that you have in this database. And then the YouTube gallery is filtered by the type being YouTube video. So I like to keep the thumbnail here in the photo column because I think it's helpful to get a reminder of what video did I click on? Do I remember clicking on that? But yeah, and then some quick actions here. You can add a resource or you can add a YouTube video article or book. This will already be sorted by these things so that you can quickly, like let's say on mobile, you can add any of these three types if you already have something in your head that you want to put down. Heading back, the last thing I wanted to go over here are the quick actions. So to log habits, this basically opens up today's habits in a side view. I did mention that they were gonna be redundant and I wasn't lying. This is important to kind of differentiate between the next two buttons because a new daily entry just means that it will add a page. So if you recall, if we go back to daily pages, we already have an entry for today. So we don't want to add a new daily entry because we already have one. So what we'll do is just edit the daily entry and you'll see that once you click in here, you can see today's entry in a view and quickly edit it. For example, when you're reflecting and doing your learnings for the good night section, um, that's when that button will be most helpful. And in the mornings, you know, I would recommend doing the new daily entry button as you will not have a daily entry yet. But yeah, if you're still here, thank you so much for watching and let me share with you a little surprise because I have some life areas that are coming soon to this template. So if you do get this template, you'll get this update for free. These will be included later on. I'm aiming for March, might be April. We have a financial planner, a reading log, a meal planner, an exercise log, a wish list, and a bucket list. So I'm super excited to work on those in January, February, March, and I can't wait to have them out to you when they're ready. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure sharing this template with you and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Bye.